Today is Thursday, June 3rd, 2021. My name is Alex. I'm your host. This is another episode of the Corporate Cowboys Podcast. Responsible, powered by Incorporating Associates. Figuratively, literally, metaphorically. Uh, this episode is entitled Hustle and Murder. Wait, well, hold on, hold on, let me take that back. Hustle and kill. Hustle and kill, that's right. Because <laughs> murder has a little bit more nefarious connotation to it. And um, while I might advocate, I might be an advocate for you know ending life and bringing on death um I, I like to keep things wholesome i like to keep things as gray as possible so yeah you might tell me murder is bad but i'm not trying to be a bad person i'm just a good person who from time to time uh finds it necessary to engage in some nefarious activities um Oops, tries not to, uh, tries not to fall into the side of evil, of iniquity, but, you know, you gotta get your fucking hands dirty in order to know what clean really looks like. If your entire life has been lived in a clean manner, the day you come up on some dirt, you won't know what the fuck to do. You... You'll catch, you'll catch shock for being a hypochondriac. And if you've lived in dirt your entire life, the moment you see somebody who's clean, you automatically presume that they are dirty. Why? It's just suspicion, innate suspicion. It's ingrained in you when you come up playing with dirt. Hustle and kill. Why hustle and kill? Because ultimately, it's what life boils down to. That's what business boils down to. Every personal relationship, every business interaction boils down to how well you can hustle and how easily you can transition that hustle into a kill. Yeah, the established practice is to always be closing ABCs of, uh, of sales, what have you, of, of business. ABC, always be closing. I like to think of it as being on the hunt. And we're not necessarily hunting people. We are hunting contracts. We are hunting interactions. We are hunting relationships. We are hunting connections. We're just on the hunt. That's what being a capable professional requires you to do. To be an efficacious hunter. To hustle up, develop connects, and then kill at a moment's notice. That's what makes you, that's what makes you sought after. That's what, that's what makes people want to pay you. That's how I get paid. That's how I get recognized. That's how I make uh, make my bones, earn my stripes. Anywhere you go, anywhere you go, it's the same thing. Yes, even in egalitarian societies, even in an organization that abides by an egalitarian culture, what, you think just because my name is Alex, I'm due some kind of credit. What you think because of the way I dress, the way I sound, what's between my legs, I'm entitled to some kind of deference, to some kind of preference. I ought to be given special treatment. Fuck all that noise. It's how well you can hustle and how well you, well, how well you can hustle and your capability killing your capacity for killing 
and it's stylistic. Killing obviously is a, is a very hard word. It's heavy. It's got sharp edges to it. It's taking somebody's fucking life, or uh, alternatively, taking somebody's death from them. A lot of folks, many folks, like to believe that they have every aspect of their life planned out, that they are in control of what happens to them. <laughs> they can dictate when they will leave this realm. Psych, you fucking thought. You believed you did, but uh, corporate cowboys are in the business of rearranging beliefs, <laughs> shattering dreams, or, yeah, alternatively, again, making dreams come true. It's fun. It's fun when uh, you're good at it. It's fun when it's your livelihood, and that's what you eat from. It all boils down to your hustle and your will to kill. Hustle and will? Hustle and kill? Should I? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put that question mark in the title. Rest assured. It wasn't too long ago when. I, I truly did believe that it was about uh, hustle and, and, and workflow, essentially. How, how easily you can move from one person to the next person and essentially uh, be able to interact on a professional level with diverse individuals. And yes, that is an aspect of being a professional being capable, the social skills required for you to be a diplomat necessarily require you to move seamlessly from matter to matter, from subject matter to subject matter, from person to person, from individual to individual. That doesn't mean you have to be knowledgeable in all areas of life, in all areas of your industry. It means that you have to be capable of addressing them. That's all. Just addressing them. You don't have to go in deep, dissect, and get surgical with the shit. You just have to be able to hustle. And when the time comes, know how to convert <laughs> I'll just say how to convert that how to convert that interaction into a sale how to close how to kill it means you must know how to pivot it means you must know how to initiate it means you must know how to introduce means you must know how to deflect, you must know how to mitigate, they're all very apt skills to a professional, and they are very much required to hustle and kill, because even, even when you're going in for the kill, you have to secure it, you have to be sure that the that the kill is, is confirmed. You have to confirm your kills. And in a lot of uh, professions, you do so by taking pictures and other forms of documentation. Essentially, you have to... Essentially, you must document your kills in order for, your, in order for those, the, that credit to go to the appropriate person to the appropriate organization, even if it's not coming to you, right? Because many things that we do in life isn't for our credit. It might be for uh, some, some higher power, some superior power. It could be for your manager. It could be for your family. It could be for your company. It could be for God. It could be for the sake of money itself. 
that okay that one's a little esoteric not for the love of money but for money itself for the sake of currency <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, no, we'll, we'll crack that can of worms soon enough. But to hustle and kill means you have to be hungry for it. You have to be committed to it. There are some, uh, I, I feel when you, when you grow in caliber, when you grow in caliber, you can take on small assignments, you know, for the fuck of it. Or, or for the fun of it, because it's fun to do. But when you grow in caliber, you, uh, when you rise in caliber, it's, it's analogical, I suppose, it, it's tangential. When you grow in caliber, you become specialized, you're sought after for what you are best at doing. Sure, you might have something that's like bread and butter, but when you specialize in, in a certain aspect of the kill, of you know, of, of hustle, when you specialize in hustle, and you specialize in kill, you're going to be sought after for those skills, for that toolbox you carry around, that toolbox that's on your shoulders. <laughs> and, uh, and innate, in, what is it, ingrained or baked in, baked into that search for you as a hustler, baked into that search for you as a killer, comes opportunity. You just have to recognize it. You have to realize it. Well, you have to identify it, recognize it, and realize it. You see, it's a, it's a process. It's always a process. You have to identify it, you have to recognize it, you know, make it, uh, make it plain to see for everyone at the table. You personally identify, then you make it plain to see for everyone at the table and have it be recognized, assuming you have some formal authority to recognize it and thus everyone in your circle recognizes it and then you realize it, you move to realize it. That means that it's that it's acted on, it's acted upon. And you can negotiate additional hustle and move in for additional kill. God damn. It's like a It's like a shepherd's tone, I suppose. Hustle never stops. You pray for the struggle to be short term, and yet you know that the hustle is for the long run. <laughs> the hustle is forever. It's just the kills that are short and sweet. When you know how to maneuver, the kill is short and sweet. I mean, if you become really efficacious, the hustle and the kill are one and the same. They won't even fucking see you coming. They will open up to you and let it happen. God damn, that sounds seductive. <laughs> That's my goal in life. Is to be a, a hustler, to be a killer. One and the same. One stroke. That feel, that feel when you want to be a one pump chump. Psych, it's a one pump champ. You're trying to be a one pump champ out here. A one slamp champ out here. Just slumping fools. <laughs> oh man. Hope y'all are ready for the weekend. Got one more day. And then you got the weekend to yourself. To bust down, oil up, and gear up for Monday once more. Man, I love life. I love death too.
going to wish y'all a proper weekend. And you can always visit us on Instagram. Follow the page. It's Corporate Cowboys. You'll recognize the profile picture. It might never change. On Patreon, you can subscribe. Keep the operation nonprofit. Keep the operation <clears throat> operating in the gray. And um, most definitely send something direct if you'd like through Venmo or PayPal even, Cash App. I'm sure if you're smart, you can find the links. Have a great weekend if I don't talk to you again. Take care.